the next big thing. He's been a dominant force around the world. He's a future world champion. He's can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. 
I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Lock has arrived on Raw. And apparently The Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big ideas about rechristening his title the Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard The Lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here in WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against a veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight, so I'd actually give the advantage to The Lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, The Lock's long-awaited debut is happening right now on Monday Night Raw. And what a way to kick the... Saving us from having to sit through that. Ooh, brutal form. What a punch! Power slam! the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, that didn't go as locked design. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Springboard misses the target. Charging up the arm, and ooh, what a close line in the corner. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. He's getting fired up. Now, really feeding off this crowd. Uh-oh. Look at this! Uh-oh is right. Full-away slam! Zane looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sammy. to the floor now. Backbreaker. Two. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, oh, man. And the Locks maintaining the advantage now. The Locks showing that edge, that ruthlessness. That's so just a beat now. He breaks the pin before a one count. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank.
suplex. But that's not all. Into a ripcord lariat. What a combination. Sammy is like a deer in the headlights here. Kick to the midsection. Hoisted up. Disorienting spin and big time powerbomb. The title might change hands. in his WWE debut. What an unbelievable night here on Raw. Not many superstars can say they captured championship gold their first night on the job. We heard so much about this superstar. How he was the next big thing, a future Come world on. champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sami Zayn from behind. Well, oh, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sami goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sami. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sami again. Thank you. Now what? He's going to send Sami for a ride. And the safe goes crashing down with Sammy inside. This night just keeps getting better. Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Luck. What a debut. There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah, can't wait to get out there. Good, we can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh, talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep. Cat with a K, K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on the wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion, The Lock. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you, too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. 
Just trust the process and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the luck. We good here, or...? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for ten years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. <laughs> we probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, 
you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. The man destined to be top dog. It's the lock. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion. The Superstar. The Intercontinental Champion hasn't made too many entrances in his WWE career, but he seems to be getting the hang of it. He seems to be getting the hang of a lot of things, like winning. Let's see if he can keep the train rolling here tonight. momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Ridge Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn has apparently opted to rehab his neck at ringside. Buckle up, folks. The Locks title might not be up for grabs, but his reputation would certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. with that one I was only thinking about dominance brilliant countering by both competitors Ooh. Ooh. stopping ouch <laughs> oh side coming punch right in the head lock side coming Something about the safe could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sami looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they going to do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabe 
Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sammy and Ridge want no part of him. Oh, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage. Hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pound safe. I respect you wanting to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not gonna cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. Fine. I guess we can team up for one night. Do you want to talk strategy or anything? I'll see you in the ring next week.
It's a superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following contest is a tag team match. Always looking to break through to that. Hey, the self. It's been a non-stop thrill ride ever since the Intercontinental Champion stepped foot in WWE, and there's no reason to think it'll stop tonight as The Lock and Gabriel Slade take on Sami Zayn and Rich Holland. The Lock locked horns with Sami Zayn on his first night in WWE. He can't seem to shake Sami loose. Locked horns, huh? We need to unlock some new vocabulary. And The Lock and Gabriel Slade need to get on the same page fast if they're going to have a chance against two of WWE's most talented superstars. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. And Locke got turned around there. Sharp jab. Series of strikes to the back. Clubbing blows. Getting set up for something in the corner. Handle finds the mark. Those two are in such a cohesive yeah. rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Catch it off, good driver! Oh. Zayn able to adapt. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Look out! the opposition back into the ring. Got him set up in the corner of the ring.
So these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So, a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half-ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. I appreciated the assist, but I wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies. Okay, let's not get hung up on semantics. Nonetheless. Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Sammy likes to sneak attack and run? Well, that's not going to happen when I get him inside a cage. Nice! Really felt the passion there. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. It's the future of WWE, The Lock. Introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Superstar! Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. What an atmosphere for the Locks premium live event <laughs> debut. And what a matchup as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his biggest nemesis in WWE, Sami Zayn. Biggest nemesis in WWE? Who's the Locks second biggest nemesis? Give me a break, Cole. The guy just got here like 10 minutes ago. Well, he's already made more of a mark in the ring in 10 minutes than you did in 10 years, Corey. And I expect him to make a few extra marks on Sammy tonight. Trying to rearrange the features on their face. Oh, that's not very nice. Ripping and tearing at the face. Now, that was a very questionable attack. A perfect time to attack when his guard is down. <laughs>
going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. He's looking down on the cage from the top. And now he's looking to advance up the cage wall. The sprint of the cage is on. Incredible guts to make this climb. Oh, oh no, he comes off the cage and lands right back in the ring. Yeah, he's gonna have to try something else now. Better be quick about it. Not much time to get over. Tries to escape the cage. Oh man, this is not gonna end well. The champion with a quick shoulder up. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. He went right into that turn. I knew what was coming there. Close line. So effective. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, this has been grueling. The story of this cage match is getting written on these competitors' bodies. Cross landing powerbomb. Now that's what you call impact. for the cage door. No shame in take Takedown. Incredibly important moment right there. Being able to get in the ropes. It can't be understated how much that could have just saved this match. He's returning fire. <laughs> Leaving himself open here. Oh, positioning it. Top rope heading up there. This is not going to be good. Could be catastrophic. Superplex from the top. And if you're in a steel cage match, you know you have problems that need settling. <laughs> Able to sidestep it. Punch to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. And that was a well-executed attack. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here power. all day. Power. I think you're right. And well-timed maneuver there. And that was a well-targeted attack. He's making his way up the side of the cage. In search of some footing to make this huge climb. He's reached the pinnacle of his climb here. And as he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. Fought so hard to be in this position, but he's only halfway to victory. Same way he walked in as a champion. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Superstar. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Hey champ, I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations, but now it's time for a big test. 
We want the lot to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live events in one of our top markets, LA. But there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I'm confident I can sell out the event on my own. No need to announce an opponent. The WWE Universe will pay to see me beat anyone. Bold decision. I guess we'll find out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. I don't care if it's The Rock. I'm not worried about a dumb movie premiere. Would you rather watch celebrities walk a red carpet or watch me defend my Intercontinental Championship? Easy decision. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks.
Universal Champion, the Superstar. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought I could sell out the show on my own, but maybe I got overconfident and bought into all this lock hype. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? Well, well, if it isn't the Intercontinental Champion. I remember my first IC title, but barely, because I've had so many. <laughs> Losing your memory in your old age, huh? So sad. <laughs> wow, Locke's got jokes. And I was just about to teach you everything I know about being the Intercontinental Champ. Enlighten me. To be a true Intercontinental Champion requires a truly intercontinental skill set, with mastery of styles from all over the world. And your intercontinental specialty is... British? Japanese? Lucha? Cleveland? No, no, no. I am the greatest French-style wrestler of all time, of course. A style defined by the element of surprise, or as the French say, surprise, with a zzz, which they stole from me. Are you sure about that? My wife is French, so I'd know. But enough spelling talk. Let me show you what the Intercontinental Championship is all about. In the ring, for your title, what do you say? <sighs> Shh. 
sure. But I've got more important business first. I've already got a cage match title defense lined up. Well, bon chance, as the French would say. Break a leg or two. Champion. This is brutal. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from New York. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The WWE is... The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with a North of the Border superstar tonight for a mixed tag team match against WWE's marquee French couple, Miz and Maurice. Hold on, since when are the Miz and Maurice French? I wouldn't second guess Miz Saxton, not when it comes to maneuvering his way to another Intercontinental title. Watch and learn. Just establishing dominance, followed by the star. She tags out, so now it's the men one on one. Close line. Big four. Sharp punch. Now he's been put on the defensive. What makes a great tag partner though, is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. from the lock is shot through. Face first into the snapmare driver. The can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. No, he kick out. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal for him. Right, 
short jab. It's raining down those shots to the back of the neck. Relax handle. Oof. Oh, nothing fancy here. Tasting victory. Picked up. Just barely breaks the pin in time. Uh oh. Look at this. Uh oh, it's right. I've seen Saxon, the cover. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. He tags out, so now the women are going to go one on one. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, nice. Cover. She just will not go away. She tagged out, but if you ask me, I think her opponent wanted a break too. Take it over! Go for the win here! And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. German suplex. But that's not all. And a record leg and ended here. He's got him. And they're still in this. Uh-oh. End of days. Has the locks. Got to wonder what his strategy is here for. Superstar possessed the fortitude to do what we just witnessed. Very few, almost none. This match just went to the next level. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Boom, right the button. Oh, targeted. Nice takedown, stack full of pins. celebrating together great chemistry tonight i wouldn't have expected these two to perform well together but they looked impressive in victory Congratulations on nothing. That win was completely meaningless. What matters is that I still have an icy title shot. Care to make it French rules? Here we go. What does that even mean? It's the highest form of unpredictable surprise-based sports entertainment. A proper cage match with escape-only rules. Are you intercontinental enough to handle it? Call it whatever you want, miss. It's clearly just a pathetic attempt to find an advantage that you will desperately need. Bad news, though? I'm keeping this intercontinental title no matter what fake French surprise you have planned. Bad news? No way! I'm clearly in your head, which is the best news. Say au revoir to your championship. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. The man 
destined to be top dog. It's the lock. Intercontinental title against The Miz in a French Rules cage match where the first competitor to escape the cage will walk away with the IC title. Sit back, butter your baguettes, and enjoy two of the best in the business with the premium in premium live event. of his opponent. Miz needs to rely on his resourcefulness. Eat the feet! Vicious right forearm. Way to his 
escaping the steel cage. This is the moment for him. This is how winners are made. That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Superstar. Broken, beaten, and scarred, but there is your winner. And that's about as conclusive a win as you can get in the cage.